Hello, and thank you for watching this walkthrough of the Machinery Risk Assessment Calculator from Proctor Machine Guarding. The Risk Assessment Calculator helps you to perform and document risk assessments on machines, whether those machines are still in the design stage, part built or complete, and whether they are new machines or machines that have been in use for some time. It's based on the appropriate standard BSEN ISO 12100 2010, and it's designed to guide you through the risk assessment process and make sure you don't miss anything. Where action needs to be taken to reduce the risk level, colour coding is used so you can easily prioritise. This video walkthrough will show you how easy it is to use the risk assessment calculator, but you can download it free of charge from the website you can see at the bottom of the screen. So please try it for yourself. The risk assessment calculator is built on an Excel spreadsheet, but you don't need to know anything about Excel to use it. There are seven sections that you can access from the tabs at the bottom of the screen. One of which is the welcome screen. Another is a page with some instructions and information about the calculator. And then there is a lookup table to help you enter the right figures in the risk assessment. The other sections are a summary page where you can collate the actions that need to be taken. And three machine risk assessment worksheets containing extensive checklists. One is an example risk assessment, while the other two are performing risk assessments on your machines. Of course, you can create copies of these worksheets if you need to access more than two machines. We've designed the risk assessment calculator to help you consider each hazard, hazardous situation and hazardous event and the consequences. For each of the hazards that applies to your machine, you need to decide the likelihood of it occurring how often a person will be exposed to it, the degree of harm that could result, and how many people are at risk. The lookup table helps you to enter the right figures for these, and the risk assessment calculator automatically works out the hazard rating number and allocates a risk level, from negligible to unacceptable. The hazard rating number is colour coded so you can easily see which hazards need to be reduced. Let's have a look at the example machine to see how a risk assessment works. In this example, the machine is a simple cable re-reeler that might be used for reeling up electrical cable after it has been marked or cut to length. The table at the top of the page contains information about the machine, who will use it, and how often it is used, as well as the details of the person undertaking the risk assessment. Below that, there are three long tables that serve as checklists, one for hazards, another for hazardous situations, and a third for hazardous events. These tables are based on the standard BSEN ISO 12100. For any machine, it is likely that a lot of the hazards will not be applicable, but each should be considered and, if it is not applicable, NA should be entered in the comments column to show that it has been considered and ruled out. Let's look at a couple of the hazards that are applicable to our cable re-reeler. First, there is a mechanical hazard. A person could suffer a crushing injury due to the cable reel becoming detached from the machine. The likelihood of occurrence is scored as 1, highly unlikely but conceivable. The frequency of exposure is scored as 5. The operative is constantly exposed to this hazard. The degree of possible harm is scored as 0.5 for a laceration or mild ill effect and the number of persons at risk is scored as 1 because one or two people are exposed to the hazard. The hazard rating number is automatically calculated as 2.5 and the risk level is negligible so no further action is required. Now let's look at the drawing in or trapping hazard as it's possible that a finger or hand could be drawn into the nip point where the cable is being wound onto the drum. The likelihood of occurrence is scored as 8 were probable, not surprising if it happened. The frequency of exposure is scored as 5. The operative is constantly exposed to this hazard. The degree of possible harm is scored as 2, break of minor bone or minor temporary illness. And the number of persons at risk is scored as 1, because one or two people are exposed to the hazard. The hazard rating number is automatically calculated as 80, and the risk level is high so action is required to reduce the risk level. 
For the nip point, the example shows an interlocked guard being fitted to reduce the hazard. After the initial risk assessment has been completed and the proposed actions implemented, the risk assessment should be rerun to check whether the hazards have been reduced sufficiently. Here we see that fitting the guard reduces the likelihood of occurrence to 0.033, almost impossible, only in extreme circumstances, which reduces the hazard rating number to 0.33 and the risk level to negligible, so no further action is necessary. After the effect of the actions has been considered in the reassessment, any outstanding actions can be looked at. It should be the case that the only outstanding actions are, for example, the inclusion of warnings in the operating instructions, warning labels on the machine, and the requirement for operatives to use personal protective equipment, PPE. These outstanding actions can be listed on the summary page. As we've seen, the risk assessment calculator is very simple to use, and the worksheets provide extensive checklists that should cover all hazards, but always think very carefully about each machine you are assessing. The spreadsheet also serves to document the risk assessment process. Thank you for watching this video. Please go to www.machinesafety.co.uk and find the Downloads tab and click on Machine Safety Guides. You'll see there are lots of other useful calculators, guides and white papers as well as the Machinery Risk Assessment Calculator.